How's it going everybody and welcome back to another episode and in today's video we're doing a full on review of kettle grip. Now if you're someone like myself that has a home gym full of dumbbells but has zero kettlebells, this is a very affordable option to have um, or if you're someone that goes on a lot of trips, whether you go on vacation, you travel out for work, maybe you go out of state to see family pretty often, uh, really easy piece of equipment to carry with you, throw in your gym bag or your luggage, whatever it is to uh, make sure you're still getting in your kettlebell exercises. So kind of talking about what this is made out of, then we'll go into the pros and cons and who I'd recommend this for. So. This is a plastic handle that when you open up on the inside has urethane foam padding on the inside and also has stainless steel hardware where it hinges. So it should be pretty durable over the years. I've had it for about two weeks now and there is literally no scratches, dings. Um, I had zero issues with it. It seems like it's gonna hold, uh, you know, hold up as long as I take care of it. I don't do anything crazy and drop it or uh, do any super dynamic movements with it or go over the weight recommendation which they recommend nothing more than 55 pounds uh, with this handle. So you put your dumbbell inside, you close it, you latch it nice and tight. Sometimes when I'm doing certain exercises, I will feel the dumbbell shift a little bit inside, but for most traditional exercises like kettlebell swings, uh, sumo up high pulls, Turkish get-ups, or a lot of like slow controlled exercises like you know rows, uh, presses, things like that, you won't find uh, any issues with those. Now. Talking about the pros of this, this was only $35 on Amazon where a 26 pound kettlebell or a 35 pound kettlebell based on where you get it would cost that much. So just for one weight, you would have one kettlebell. But with this, you can now use it on a whole slew of different dumbbells. So you can use it all the way down to a five pound dumbbell or up to a 55 pound dumbbell. Uh, I only have 45 pounds, so I've been able to fully test the max weight. But with 45, hasn't given me many issues at all. Uh, kettlebell swings have been perfectly fine. So, with the dumbbells, I'll post a picture up on just a second, but I have the tr traditional hex dumbbell that gets thicker on the inside of the handle, so it goes from, I believe, a one inch to a one and a half inch diameter in the middle, but it also fits most stainless steel, or excuse me, like cast iron uh, dumbbells, anything, uh, you have adjustable dumbbells, it fits pretty much all of those that have a traditional uh, dumbbell handle size, so it fits pretty much any type of dumbbell you would have in your gym, or whether you go to a hotel and they have certain kind of dumbbells there, it should fit pretty much any single one you would come encounter with. I haven't seen a dumbbell that was skinnier than an inch or uh, wider than an inch and a half. So this would literally work with pretty much every dumbbell you ever come encounter with. Um, with that being said, some of the cons, I do again know, notice a little bit of wiggle room when it's in there. Sometimes, no matter how even I place the dumbbell, if I place it dead center, I grab dead center, if I'm doing some dynamic single arm work like single arm rows, uh, single arm swings, I, it will feel like it's lopsided and will start to twist and turn and make the movement a little more challenging. For some of you, that might be a good idea. Maybe it you know, works more on stabilizing uh, the, the movement and making it a little more challenging for you, which is a plus for some of you. But for me, when I'm doing you know, a, a workout with a bunch of swings in it, I don't wanna make it that much more challenging because I might need to use my shoulders for something else in that same workout. So that's another con for me. It's just it doesn't seem, uh, if you're doing single arm stuff, that it will be 100% symmetrical. For two arm stuff, not an issue at all, no problem. If you're doing controlled stuff like rows and all that, not a problem at all either. Um, and then the only other thing that I could imagine is that over a very long time is that the phone does start to get a little condensed and might uh, cause more wiggle room and might maybe cause a lateral wiggle room for the dumbbell. Right now it only just wiggles a little bit forward and back but it sits pretty snug and doesn't go side to side but I could see that possibly happening uh, years down the road. And then if you're someone that wants to do certain exercises, uh, it makes it very, very hard to do certain specific kettlebell exercises if you are someone that wants to do only kettlebell style workouts. So for example, whether you, let's say you wanted to do a clean and a press, the way it sits on you, the, the head of the dumbbell will dig into your shoulder, it'll kind of sit unsymmetrical, it doesn't uh, quite sit very snug in the pit of your elbow, so it makes it very hard to do movements like that. Essentially, it's impossible to do movements like that unless you have maybe like a really light uh, dumbbell, but I did it with 30 pounder and it just did not feel good at all, I would not try that. So if you're someone that wants to do specifically kettlebell only workouts and use a lot of different kettlebell exercises, this might not be a good option for you. If you're doing just the just more traditional swings, high pulls, things like that, uh, would definitely be an okay option for you with that. So who I would recommend this to is if you are someone that doesn't plan on going really heavy, 
that doesn't want to do kettlebell specific only workouts that uh, doesn't you know need to use this every single day because it might start wearing down on you then that that was for you so maybe you're someone that's just new into fitness maybe you're someone that just wants to do a ton of high reps but doesn't want to do any heavy swings uh, great option but if you're someone like me that typically would do 53 or 72 pound kettlebells and a workout uh, if you're someone that wants to do a wide variety of kettlebell exercises um, this might not be the best bet definitely a good stepping stone definitely one to start with so you can do a, the vast majority of them but until you have the money saved up to get regular kettlebells um, you're very limited on what you can do with this so with that being said for the vast majority of us though with, with you know most people when they touch a kettlebell they either do swings or they do like farmer carries in my eyes from what i typically see so still a great tool to have again if you're someone that travels a lot if you're someone that has a home gym and you're limited on the money you can use to spend on a kettlebell great tool to have with you so you can get most of those kettlebell exercises done in your gym. So if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I will leave a link also so you guys can check it out on Amazon and get a pair for yourself if you'd like. Um, I have a pair so because my girlfriend wanted to do pharma carries and things like that, so I said, boom, here you go, babe, you got two of them. Um, yeah, any questions, leave them down below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure the like button helps us out a lot. Subscribe for plenty more. If you don't already, follow us on Instagram at Constantly Fitness, and we'll see you guys next time.